please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts in this video lecture i will explain you response spectrum analysis of building by using etap software uh, if you are not at subscribe to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics so this is my building model which is consisting of 10 story building structure which was already i was done with the modeling process so firstly i will show you the properties related to this building model click on define option material properties for this building structure i was taken m30 gradle concrete provision system as well as the h phase d bars of 500 section in the same process i will show you the beam cross section click on section properties click on frame property section beam size i was taken as 0.45 cross 0.23 and column size is 0.6 cross 0.23 for this structural member now i will show you the load cases for this building click on define option click on load patterns option for this building structure i was taken dead loading condition layer loading condition under the gravity loads and under the lateral loading condition i was taken earthquake loading condition system as well as the wind loading condition system this time selecting earthquake load in x direction so it will be consisting of zone 5 seismic condition system with the medium soil condition system so again in the same process i am selecting wind loading condition system it will be consisting of uh, 44 meter per second is the wind speed and terrain category will be a 4 with the uh, importance factor as one here click on ok option here okay so after uh, checking the uh, loading condition system we need to apply the load cases i was applied already the load cases for the building structure which is consisting of 2 kilo newton per meter square as the floor load and live load will be consisting of 3 kilo newton per meter square again in the same process i will show you the loads which is related to the beams for the beams i was taken 24.3 kilo newton per meter is the load which is related to external wall loading condition system internal wall loading condition system as well as the parapet wall loading condition system summation okay click on cancel option so now we have to define the response spectrum analysis case so for that initially we need to define the function type which is related to response spectrum click on define option for that select the function option so select the response spectrum function so here i was already defined the response spectrum function defaultly initially i will delete this after adding our response spectrum case just i am selecting code is is 1893 2016 so here i am selecting new function rsa1 okay so here i am selecting rsa1 is the name with the seismic coefficient zone is 5 with the uh, seismic factor 0 0.36 with importance factor is 1 which is similar to define the load cases okay click on ok so here we have to delete this rsa just i am deleting here click on ok so after uh, creating the response spectrum function we have to we have to create the load cases for that we have to click on define option select the load cases option so in this it will be consisting of the primary load cases like dead load live load earthquake load as well as the wind loading condition system from this loading condition system we have to add the new combination just i am selecting new case just we have to give the name as rsa x direction okay so select the function type is response spectrum okay so from this initially we need to add the function which is related to acceleration with the direction value is u1 with the function type is rsa1 okay rest of the values we have to keep in same so here cubic method i am considering cqc function so click on ok again in the same process i am adding one more response spectrum analysis case which is in y direction condition system with the response spectrum function here so select the add button here in the same process we have to select the acceleration which is in u2 direction with the function as rsa1 so click on uh, add option delete option and we have to click on ok now you can see it was created with rsa x rsa y click on ok now we have to analyze this structure go to analyze option before that we have to check the model so here i am checking for the line checks option click on ok so now we can see model has been checked with no warning message go to click on analyze option set load cases to run option only we need the analysis part which is related to response spectrum case that's why i am not running the load case which is related to remaining just click on the run now option so that it will ask you to save the model just i am selecting asd file format so here the model is going to be uh, so here my model is analyzing after analysis process completed we have to check the response spectrum plots for the particular structure then after that i will show you the results part which is related to response spectrum analysis now we can see here it was done with a complete analysis process it is showing the deflection diagram here like this for the model if you want to select the uh, for the response spectrum case go to click on display option 
deform shape which is related to selection of your uh, mode uh, case so rsa x click on apply option display the response spectrum deflection diagram in the same process you can select the rsa y click on apply so that it will display the response spectrum in y direction condition system here like this now we have to see the shear force diagram bending moment diagram under the response spectrum analysis case for that go to display option and we have to select the forces select the frame spandrilla force which is related to shear to two so this is the shear force diagram for the particular structure so click on moment 3 3 click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the particular structure here like this so torsion select here click on apply so that it will give the details related to torsion diagram for the building okay in the same process you can select for the rsa y now we have to see the plots related to response spectrum results for that go to click on the display option select the response spectrum plots here okay so from this we can easily see the results part related to response spectrum so now in this case we have to give the story response plot here okay so just i am selecting display type is story displacement versus uh, story displacement plot here like this okay so again in the same process we can select one more section which is related to lateral loading condition system action rate and auto lateral loading condition system action rate uh, again we have to select the displacement diagram now we can see this is the displacement diagram for the structure again i am selecting drift diagram this is the drift diagram for the structure okay so this x blue color mark indicates the global x direction condition and y color mark indicates the global y direction condition red color mark indicates the global y direction condition this is the maximum displacement and story drift values diagram again in the same process story shear value diagram now you can see this is the important part in uh, response spectrum analysis condition okay again in the same process we have to select the overturning moments diagram again we can check for the story stiffness diagram here like this okay so you can change the uh, step number to one other step depends upon your consideration two or three step okay again you can change the load case to response spectrum case directly so that it will display the story stiffness lateral loading condition and uh, uh, drift value diagrams again it will be showing the story shear value diagram for the particular structure okay so this is the complete process of uh, how to do the response spectrum analysis by using GitHub software. If you have any queries about this video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for that respected questions. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting updates. Thank you.